Hey everyone, I wanna welcome you to day 14 of the Elevate Fast. We're calling this, How the Holy Ghost. How are you gonna get through the end of the fast, the rest of the time to, that, we, that you have? It's through the power of the Holy Spirit. I wanna ask you first, I know other people have been asking you this as well. How are you feeling today? Are you disappointed? Are you stressed? Are you frustrated? Or maybe you're actually experiencing a whole great positive emotions. Uh, you're feeling happy, joyous, whatever it might be. While you're fasting, I wanna encourage you to be very aware of what's going on with you, very aware of the emotions that you're feeling. I believe that each one of these emotions carries with it or has the possibility of carrying with it a word that the Lord wants to speak to you that will result in some type of insight or growth or some kind of breakthrough that he has for you um, during this time. Where you're at in your fast reflects what God wants to accomplish in you through this experience. Um, Isaiah 58, 6 says, is, this not the, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? So a yoke, of course, I'm sure everybody remembers, is the harness that's used for oxen when they plow the fields. It's also in the Bible a symbol for the sin that entangled us. So what this verse is saying is that the Lord wants to break off the oppression that's over you. He wants to break off the sin in your life. I believe that in order for this to happen, you need the Holy Ghost. You've got to activate God's word for you during this fast. I've done fast where I got through the end and nothing happened. I'm almost disappointed. I'm thinking, why? And it's because I believe I didn't take the time to actually seek the Lord and seek and spend time with the Holy Spirit while I was going through the fast. Um, you have to discern what the Lord is doing for you. If you don't activate what the Lord wants to do, you're just gonna end up hungry, right? You're just gonna end up starving in the end. Literally and, 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 and figuratively starving. So how do you do this? Romans 8, 26 says, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for, but the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf pleading to God with emotional in size too deep for words. And then in, later on the, the next verse, it says, the Holy Spirit passionately pleads before God for us, his holy ones, in perfect harmony with, harmony with God's plan and our destiny. So how do you do it? You gotta take time. I would just really encourage everybody in the next, it's some time before the end of the fast, sit down, go to a quiet place, get your journal, Get, your, get a pen and just begin to just pray and listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. He wants you to have breakthrough. He wants to break off that yoke that you can only do that if you actually spend some time with him. I love this word that in, in uh, this word super intercede. I don't actually think that's a word, but the, the, the Passion Translation use it. And I think it's really cool because what it says for me is that the Holy Spirit is going to just supercharge your prayer and your time with him. He's gonna take those things to God and he wants breakthrough for you to, uh, during this time as long as you seek him. So I wanna end by giving you all a personal word that I got from the Holy Spirit this week during my time with him. Uh, meet me in this place where the waters of my spirit subside and glide into shallow pools and swirls on my banks where you can wade into the stillness of who I am. Spend the afternoon resting in the shady expanses of my shore, under willow branches where just over the whisper of the water you can hear me calling you. I am your peace. I am your beautiful moments, stacked on top of each other like blocks or memories. You can take each one out and examine it in all of its detail. The colors of me and you inter intermingled together. The words I speak to you, and you find that I am inside and delicately intertwined with every detail of your life. I am in the water with you, playing, uh, playfully splashing your shirt. I, but I am also the water itself that cools and refreshes you. I am the water. I am the moment. I am time itself. I am everything your heart longs for. I am the answer to your deepest need. And you, you are my moment, my fulfillment and my greatest accomplishment, the one my heart longs for, here, now, and forever. So bless you, church. I just want to pray that you have a powerful experience with the Holy Spirit this week at some point. Amen.